How you guys doing? We're back with another video here. Um, if you guys go back and look at other videos about oil contamination, what we're going to show you here is um, the cause and effect. Okay. So what you're going to see here is I'm going to go over the basic components, how I do in my other videos with the different components. Here we have the disc, um, the flywheel and the pressure plate. So as I mentioned in the previous video about oil contamination, um, this is what it looks like um, after you install. Okay. So, um, as you can see the heat marks, I'm going to have him go into a little more detail as to the intro and how it starts um, as far as installing the grease. So if you want to go in and give information on the Okay, so spreads. there are two ways, the two basic ways uh, that, you know, that grease contamination can happen. Right. Number one is uh, from you or mechanic putting too much grease on the center spline. So, you know, the center shaft, okay. when, as they put it in. Uh, you need grease you know you need to apply grease otherwise it's gonna it's not gonna go in mm -hmm. so but if you put too much grease then uh as this rotates it's gonna create the centrifugal force and mm -hmm. then the the grease is gonna be spread over uh you know to this area to, to the, uh, the right, surface area right, friction, friction surface. area right. and then uh, that's gonna what's gonna happen so because of the, a lot of heat these are the heat marks mm, these okay. are the black heat marks right and then as you can see you know this is like grease all over right so this is exactly how it looks mm, okay and right. number two reason is since um you know you see my gloves oh, you know brand me yeah, yeah so mechanics yeah. usually have gloves like this and then mm -hmm. whenever they touch so when they grab things they need to grab like this okay like this but you know like this never touch the uh, surface but then uh, if they ever touch like this then what's gonna happen uh, this is gonna be contaminated, and then once uh, it's contaminated, then you know it's gonna slip, start slipping, right. and this is what's gonna happen. So that's what most customers, when they say like, if they say the clutch is bad, it's just the grease that causes the clutch to slip amongst the surfaces with too much grease from the spline, and then also from the surfaces as, as well. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Okay. So this is how it looks like. So this right. is the perfect example of a uh, grease contamination. Okay. Um, you know. The heat marks, the black right. heat marks like this. And sometimes it's even darker, but right. then this is not as dark. But then you see this? Mm -hmm. This is not usually how it wears. Right. Yeah. So in most cases, if like how customers say, hey, I'm having slippage, the clutch is defective. The clutch is technically not defective. It was an installation error, correct? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Um, Instagram on YouTube. Um, if you guys have any comments about this, please uh, like and share and comment below. Thank you.